1999 Chrysler 300M, remove and replacing the vacuum booster. Nice little hour or two job out in the backyard. Better, <laughs> Mickey. Just comparing the old one and the new one, it looks pretty good. Then we got out of part, maybe we'll show some footage as we put it back together, but. Here we are at the beginning and the end. Here's the covers to pop off for the wiper blades if you want to do that here. And there it is with the screwdriver. <clears throat> Just kind of take a note of where the wiper blades lay. And then uh, take the 15 millimeter bolt off and take the arm and swing it all the way up. And you can uh, rock it back and forth and uh, it'll come loose and just pull it off. It's just a friction fit on there so you can put it in various positions. <coughs> and the Torx bits on here and here, take those off. And then the 13 millimeter, take this big bracket off underneath there. And you can get to it. Yeah. The last thing we took out was this here, three 10 millimeter bolts basically. And uh, finessed it out of there. This thing was basically the problem. It was being in the way, trying to get it out. So uh, even turning the key on, making the wipers go up on the windshield and shutting the key off, apparently it would go back to the park position and be in the way. So we just moved it. Less hassle, and plenty of space. And then there's this piece here. Also, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, about eight uh, 13 millimeter bolts on that black piece. <clears throat> Just one across there, took that off. And we just have these covers here. Uh, just a few uh, Torx bits holding that on. We need these things here. It's about a T25 is my guess, T20, T25 for the Torx bit. And just black covers over the wiper arm connectors, 15 millimeter nut on those and just use a screwdriver and pop off the black covers. So we're in the process of putting this back together. I'm helping out a friend and he went ahead and took the master cylinder lines off here. Took this whole thing out. Uh, it's probably is a good idea. They get some nice flexible lines here. What you can do is unbolt those 13 millimeter bolts off that uh, booster and then just take this off, leave the lines connected when you do it and just uh, pull it off to the side and it'll probably give you enough room with these flexible lines here and then you don't have to worry about bleeding the system and all that. Just, just be a little careful with it and it should not be a problem. It'll save you some time from having to bleed like we're going to have to do. So here's the setup under the dash. 13 millimeter nuts four of them. You can kind of see my setup here with his tools. 13 millimeter a swivel and extension. That's about all it takes. And there's a clip that goes on there. Uh, there's a clip that snaps I, I on there. They, they should probably sell them here in town. So there's the clip when it's installed. I just push this down and then slide it down, it'll come off. 